Hello YouTube, this is Jay and this is part 6 in my series on how to do no water change tanks and in this part I'm going to discuss some very specific plants that are excellent for water filtration because I know some of you are not familiar with plants and you've seen my previous parts and you're not really sure which types of plants you can get. There's hundreds of aquatic plants out there that are potential candidates and I'm just going to point at three that are perfect for filtration. Alright, so Basically what I have established in my previous parts is that the growth rate is what matters. That is what is equal to the amount of filtration that you're going to get. So I've seen a lot of people use pothos ivy as a filtration plant and believe it works great. So let's say you got same tanks. In this one you have this huge pothos ivy growing out of it. Looks very nice. Looks like it's going to filter the water really well. It's got lots of roots going in there. And let's say in this uh, this tank you got some small amounts of duckweed growing on the surface that doesn't look as impressive. And intuitively, if you just look at it and see which plant, uh, which tank do you think will get more filtration, most people will think it's this one. But they would be uh, completely wrong because pothos ivy is a very slow growing, low light plant. Duckweed is weed. It grows like crazy and it is, it is actually considered a pest in most tanks because it grows really fast, it just completely takes over the surface of the tank and that is just what it does. It's like it's a crazy plant that just grows really fast and as I said it's the growth that matters. Although this looks much more impressive and there's a lot more um, plant biomass going on so it looks like it'll filter more water, actually this would be vastly superior in terms of filtration because you got a fast growing plant and that's all that matters doesn't have to look good, it just has to grow really, really fast. So I'm just going to point at a couple of plants that have three properties which I've found are very helpful for filtration and I've used in my turtle tanks extensively. That is, they have to be fast growing, of course, and they have to be hardy. They can't be a finicky about water parameters and die all the time. They have to be hardy and survive and they can tolerate low light because oftentimes in an artificial environment, um, producing a, a, an amount of light that is equivalent to the sun, it's kind of difficult. So they have to be tolerant of low light. And these three properties make them very difficult to kill and very difficult to screw up. And the first plant I've already discussed is duckweed. And, I, and um, if you're into aquarium hobby, you've already probably seen it because it's everywhere. And it's these tiny little plants that um, look something like this. They just, look, they just look like a circle with a tiny root going under it. And they grow very fast because they are so simple. They don't have any stems. They're just one leaf with one root going under it. So they grow pretty much almost like bacteria. They just multiply and multiply. And they split and split and they grow. Um, I found duckweed to multiply like they double almost like every week. Even more than double. So that's how fast they grow. They're definitely the fastest growing aquarium plant that I have seen. So they are definitely the best in terms of filtration capacity. And the second one I'm going to discuss is foxtail. Foxtail, I have some right here. It looks something like this. There are a variety of subspecies. Some are larger, some are smaller. This is a smaller one. And they, again, these plants are actually incapable of growing roots. They're very simple. And their simple structure makes them grow very fast. Um, I don't think they grow as fast as duckweed, but they're pretty close. And these guys grow free-floating. You can plant you can plant them in a substrate, but they will not grow roots under any circumstances. Um, they just do not have the capacity to do so. The third one is Elodia, also known as Nacris, and these are the most complex of the three, and probably the slowest grower. But they still grow pretty flat, uh, fast. They look like this, and these guys can grow both inside a substrate rooted, and they can also grow free floating, just like foxtail. But I do find that they grow better when they're rooted in a substrate. So these are the three plants that if you don't know what to get and you want some plants for filtration purposes, these three you can get. And another great thing about these three is um, they're not really toxic. So if you have fish that are capable of eating plants, like goldfish or like my aquatic turtles, actually, um, I'll feed them these plants occasionally. Um, these are all non-toxic plants that you can feed to your fish or your turtles or whatever and they'll be fine. So these are just three plants that are non-toxic, fast-growing, hardy, and they're tolerant of low light. And if you don't know what to get, 
those three plants are there for you. So that will be it for part six. And the next part, um, I haven't decided what to discuss, but I think I'll discuss some um, non-obvious ways that you can use to um, maximize your filtration capacity in terms of doing a no water change tank. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.